this is uh, quite a rare program for an event held in Britain from the 1st to the 8th of May 1943 it was held throughout Britain it was called Wings for Victory Week um, now Wings for Victory Week was a national fundraising event and each county in Britain was set a target for the amount of money they should raise in order to contribute to the cost of an aircraft which in turn would be named after the town or county which raised enough money. Now in turn districts within each county were set individual targets to make up this total. Now when the targets were successfully reached they were awarded a plaque but prior to getting the plaque which we'll cover in another video they had events to raise money. Now this one is my local one Windermere and the Lakes in the county of what was Cumberland now Cumbria. So this is a, a program of events that were held from May 22 to 29 1943. So even though the event itself the fundraising event was from the 1st to the 8th of May it went over to the 22 to 29th of May in order to get enough money. Now the the uh, the program will be sold to people entering the event and each program will be numbered and there will be a prize. The programs were this one with three pence a piece so you have a picture denoting that it's RAF related then you have the area Windermere and Lakes which is in the Lake District you have the name Wings for Victory Week you have the actual date and the event in my area the Wings for Victory Week that was held in my area was to raise £400,000 for eight Sunderland flying boats and that's a typical Sunderland flying boat it's the official program of the day's events and in small print it says please keep this program the number may bring you a free certificate or saving stamp see Westmoreland Gazette May 28th now Westmoreland Gazette is a is a, is a local newspaper so what you did you bought the May 28th Westmoreland Gazette and you see if your number was in it to see what you won and held together by the usual wartime rusty staples as I say when enough was raised the county district or area was issued with a big plastic uh, Wings for Victory plaque which we'll cover in another video because I'm, I'm going to redo that older video so this is the Windermere and Lakes Wings for Victory Week program of events so I'll have a look through it every area had their version of it so you have kind of potted history of coastal command where obviously the Sunderland flying boat would be used so you have a genetic the work of the coastal command blah 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 then you have Windermere and Lakes Thanks for Victory Week a message to the people of Windermere and District Let us, in proud gratitude, do our utmost this week and always to support them from the home front. Let us remember that the Air Force Battle of Britain, when their exertions, their sacrifices, an example of endurance and courage saved us from destruction. Nothing we can give can ever repay our debt to these incomparable fellows who faced death so finely that we in Europe might live. We must reach our target this week as they reach theirs. For these, our countrymen in our thousands of planes, there are terrible hazards, cheerfully and willingly risked. What is our answer from our comfortable quarters in this beautiful secluded spot of our beloved country? J.B. Dixon, Chairman of Windermere Urban District Council. Please show your flags during Wings for Victory Week. Then you have a history of fighter command. Then you have events. Wednesday the 19th of May. Entries for a model aeroplane competition. 
to be delivered during the afternoon to the ATC hut. Then we have a wish drive, entertainment in St John's room, arranged by Miss Dawes to provide rubber dinghies for the RAF. Crowning of the wings for Victory Queen. Then on the Friday the 22nd of May, a flag day on behalf of the RAF Benevolent Fund, a parade, assembly in Oak Street, and the route, Crescent Road, Main Road, Ellithwet Road, Brookside, Lake Road, Bonus, and the Promenade. The parade will include, by kind permission of the commanding officers, the board of the regiment, which, is, which was the local regiment, the board of the regiment band, and the National Fire Service band, both of which will play on Bonus Promenade after the parade is ended. In the event of a wet day, the route will be as intended above, the saluting base at the police station and will turn round the parish church, Old English Garage, Queen Square, Craig Brow to the Royalty Cinema. Watch for the lady with the barrel organ. Proceeds for RAF rubber dinghies. We'll go on. Again, little history of Bomber Command and the planes it uses. Events continued. During the meeting, Carrier pigeons will be released bearing greetings to Chesterley Street. Pigeons will fly with greetings from Chesterley Street to Windermere. After the public meeting, the first glider to rise from water in Great Britain will be on exhibition in Bournemouth Bay. This glider was designed and built in Windermere. After the inaugural meeting, go to the tennis pavilion and in large capitals by saving stamps and certificates. Certificates. Stick your stamps on the bomb for Hitler. Tuesday the 25th of May, a grand concert. Another grand concert. Exhibition in ATC headquarters, New Road Windermere. We have an exhibition of aircraft parts with RDF personnel in attendance. A model aeroplane competition. A £500 bomb case must be covered with saving stamps. With appropriate contents will be delivered by the RAF as your present to Hitler. Admission, sixpence. And a, a saving stamp will be given to affix to the bomb. And then, we get to the back cover. Wings for Victory Week, what are you doing towards it? How to invest your money? Savings bonds. Subscriptions must be in multiples of £50 with a minimum of £50. Obtainable from banks and stockbrokers. And it's unusual that savings bonds, it gives the dates 1960 and 1970. That's when they were valid to. Savings bonds 1960-70. This was in 1943. Defence bonds, available in multiples of £5 upwards. Interest half yearly, repayable in 10 years with bonus of one shilling per £5 invested. Limit of a thousand pound for each holders. And you have national war bonds, 1951-53. Subscriptions must be in multiples of 50 pound, with a minimum of 50 pound obtainable from banks. National war bonds, 1951-53. Post office issue. Applications must be for 10 pound, with subsequent multiples of five pound. Limit of holding in post office issue, a thousand pound. National savings certificates, seventh issue. Cost 15 shillings each and become worth 20 shillings sixpence in 10 years. The interest is free of income tax, can be cashed any time on short notice with interest due to date. Holding limited to 500 certificates per person. National Savings Certificates Pound Issue Cost a pound per certificate and become worth 23 shillings after 10 years. No income tax payable, repayable from 90 days after date of purchase with any interest accrued. Holding limited to 250 certificates. Post office and trustee savings banks. Interest at 2.5% per annum. Can open account by depositing one shilling and upwards. Home safe money box available if desired. Deposits readily available. Existing members should increase their deposits during Wings for Victory Week. National savings stamps. Price. Five shilling, two shilling sixpence or sixpence can be used to make deposits in post office or trustee savings banks or to buy national savings certificates or defence bonds. 
where to invest. Banks, stockbrokers, post offices, trustee savings banks, your savings group or at the following selling centres. Cragbrow Bonus, Windermere Works, Tennis Pavilion, Saturday afternoon. Note, investments made through the medium of the post office must be made during the Wings for Victory Week at an office actually in the area. In the case of investments made through banks in other towns, a request should be made that the amount be credited to our Wings for Victory Week. Windermere and Lakes, Wings for Victory Week, May 22 to 29th. So that's my, what was my local Wings for Victory Week. All of these pamphlets are now rare because nobody actually kept them. And as I say, we'll take a look at the appropriate Wings for Victory Week plaque that was awarded to a county or district upon achieving the target that was set. So that's a typical example of a Wings for Victory Week program. In this case, Windermere and the Lakes. May 22 to 29, 1943.